The sleeve gastrectomy is an operation where we remove a portion of the stomach. Um, to determine how much stomach we leave behind, we use an instrument called a bougie, which is a sizer to determine how much stomach is left behind. We usually remove anywhere from 75 to 80 percent of the stomach, uh, changing it from an organ that can hold about one or two liters to an organ that holds about 150 to 200 cc's uh, at a time. What this does is that you reduce the amount of food a person eats before they feel full. Um, that's the first part, so that's the restrictive component. There's a metabolic component to the operation as well. We reduce the amount of ghrelin, a hormone that stimulates appetite, that the body produces because this is produced predominantly in the stomach. And so folks don't feel as hungry after surgery and can maintain this diet after surgery in a way they couldn't before surgery. So that's how the operation works. It's a great operation for folks that don't have diabetes, um, that are uh, relatively low on the BMI scale, uh, usually under 45, uh, some people under 50. Um, so without medical comorbidities like diabetes um, in particular, um, the sleeve gastrectomy is a good operation for folks with a BMI less than 50. Um, if you have severe acid reflux, the sleeve gastrectomy is probably not a good option. If it's mild, you can still do the uh, sleeve gastrectomy with success. The concern being that a sleeve gastrectomy can worsen reflux. Um, if you have a hiatal hernia, that's the cause of your reflux, and we repair that, then it's still reasonable to perform the operation um, without having debilitating reflux.